guys welcome in this video i'm going to show you the documentation for this code so most of the time you're going to forget and you can easily refer back to that documentation okay now what you have to do is to head up to your browser and you can open a new tab and over here we are going to search for flutter flutter fire flutter fire okay and wait for this to load and you can see we have this firebase.flutter.dev and this is basically the official documentation for firebase or to use firebase what you have to do now is to click on this and you can see we have a lot of documentation we have for firebase analysis we have for firebase art we have we have for the cloud fire store we have for cloud function firebase messaging firebase storage and we've gone through this right not really everything but a bit and you're going to see this in the future we have the firebase core and so much okay and over here you can see we have the search tab we're going to search for one time read search for one time one time read and now we can scroll down and you can see it over here you can see it over here this is where i got the code from over here you can see you can read the documentation for this a query snapshot is returned from a collection query and allow you to inspect the collection such asks how many documents exist within it give gives access to the documents within the collection see any changes since last query and okay and hopefully you understand this now and this is where i got the the documentation from so you can easily just read more about it and most of the time if you forget you can easily just refer to this using this way i just showed you you can just add up to firebase.flutter.dev and over here you can search for one time one time read you can search for one time read and you just have to scroll down and you can see we have this query snapshot section over here and you can basically see more of what it does now we have the document and query snapshot and this is for the document snapshot do not worry in the future you're going to see more about this document snapshot but in general all our firebase code is going to be coming right from the documentation and you can see over here seems good cool. 